Why are you setting up a camera and lighting in our bedroom? Uh, you know why. We're filming the intro for today's video, remember? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we make jokes! <laughs> hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin, and today we're gonna be restoring some furniture with resin. Why? why? Because especially I have been tough on this. I wanna use furniture, drop things on them, keys, electronics, everything, and it's pain Caitlin for seven years. Okay, these are very nice side tables that They're... we got as a resin, as a resin, as a wedding present, okay? <laughs> and I was extremely careful with mine. Like literally all I keep on mine is a lamp, my phone, well don't look at it. <laughs> it's, it's damaged. No, you wait for my story to end. <laughs> you wait for my story. All I would keep on it is the lamp, my phone, and my water cup. I was extremely careful because I noticed how scuffed up yours were, but we switched sides of the bed because your shoulder was hurting and we switched and I ended up on Evan's table and Evan ended up with my table and it was too late by the time I realized that he had scuffed up my perfect clean table. <laughs> so that, sir, is why both of these look terrible. <laughs> they are both you. This is this was more mine for longer. There's like dents. <laughs> There's like like physical dents, not just scratches. You know what's a durable surface though? Resin. Resin. And especially when you're pouring it as thick as we're gonna pour it, you can just repolish it for years and years and years. It's future proof. Yeah. It's smart. We figured instead of just doing solid white on top to mimic the look, we're gonna try to go for a marble resin look, which we have done once before on a small scale, but we do have a twist. We're gonna make them glow in the dark. But like, classy. Like, a, like a classy glow in the dark. <laughs> it shouldn't look like anything weird in the daylight, but mm -hmm. then when we turn off the light, maybe we have like a little bit of a glow. Yeah, so like you can place your phone, so the that, pills you have on there, so something, I don't know. So we can gently place items on the surface because we can see it so much better. Yeah, I'll know where it is instead of just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As is often the case, we're gonna smart start with some small scale tests before we move on to our actual expensive furniture. Cause I actually am a little worried about messing these up. Oh, we got this baby. How many pro resin projects have we done? How many have we messed up? Good point. <laughs> So we decided to search on YouTube for DIY marble resin techniques. And we found this really cringy couple that- I thought they were cute. Yeah, they're okay. <laughs> um, that tested a whole bunch of marble techniques with yeah. resin, and we decided we're not gonna use any of them. Theirs looks kind of like this, but I think we can do better. <laughs> One thing we learned watching that video was we really like layers. We like depth, because uh -huh. real stone can have that depth and that makes it look really good. And we tried to create that in our last marble video, all with one pour, and I think that that was a big struggle. So what we wanna to test today is different ways of layering our resin. Yeah, another thing that I'm, did we talk about this in the scene that we just filmed where we're gonna make it matte? No, we didn't talk about it, I don't think so. I think that, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Stone can be glossy or matte, but resin is most of the time glossy. glossy. Yeah. And I think that having a matte surface will make it look more stone-like. But first, yeah. let's uh, start with our layering. <laughs> yeah, and I'm already like going off the rails. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes. I have a theory that like just more, 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 more layers is even better. <gasps> how, how many layers are you? Our pain's great, it's in pain. It broke, oh no. Oh no, our pain! I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint a layer underneath the resin to give it like depth on depth on depth. Will it make any difference at all? And I'm gonna start out with some light um, grayish. Oh no, that's, yeah, that's something more like that. Wow, a little bit of black really just overwhelms white. Yeah, that's what I'm more going for. And hopefully some bit of this will show through the resin, but I'm not sure. And I don't even really need it to be that detailed to, to some degree, because there's gonna be a lot of like variation and texture over it. I just want like a dark imprint. Yeah. So I think that that's good enough. In order to get the sides, we're gonna add rigid aluminum all the way around on all the edges. Do we need to film you doing this or? <laughs> I, think, I think they see this, they know how yeah. tape works. Well, let's go. It's resin time. <laughs> resin time, resin time. 
Risen time. Look at my glasses. <laughs> my glasses. So I'm gonna mix up four different colors. Cloudy white, an opaque white, a gray, and a really strong black. One drop of white here, maybe two, three. Let's see how uh, pigmented this is. Honestly? That looks pretty pigmented. Three drops, pretty pigmented. I think this is the opaque. I'm gonna have to be very careful on this next one and actually only do one drop. There you go. Yeah, it's a uh, translucent. Yeah, there you which go. Which is what you want. Okay, cool. Black is really powerful. I'm just gonna put a drop on the table, grab some with the sticks, and then stir it in. Oh my gosh, oh, even wow. just that. that. I feel like that's actually gonna be your dark black. Yeah, no, that, that, that looks nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. That no. looks like a nice gray. And then the black. I might just do, I want it to be pretty black, so I'll do two drops. I, I missed all of this, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, see that is black. Here's the gray. Yeah. Oh, I see you getting the syringe. You're gonna be <laughs> such a precise boy. Well, I am not that precise of a boy. I really have a hard time with precision, so I'm gonna cheat. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do okay with this, but I want to go all the way in the corner. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. Than pouring it? Than my last attempt at this, yeah. Now, how many black streaks do I want? Just one? I'm gonna go two. Mm, that's it. Cool. And then I'll do a gray. I think I can be a little bit more judicious with this. I think I'm gonna do it on either side of the black. Mm -hmm. As like a blending tone? Yes. A transition? Ooh, color. ooh. I'm gonna try another variable. Translucent, white, opaque white. Okay. In the same cup. Do a little bit of a dirty pour here. Yeah, I like how that turned out. You know what? I'm gonna go crazy. A little bit of each. Oh! Oh! And then some black. Oh! Oh, I'm going off the rails. I'm gonna do it in this corner here first, see how I like it. Oh, that's kinda nice. Okay. Just in terms of like, blending? Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I'm doing it again. Oh, I like that. Wow. All right, now I'm gonna do one without the black, but there'll probably still be a little bit of black in there left over. You know, and this, because this isn't the top layer of resin, it's cool to like experiment with this under layer that'll be partially covered. This no. already looks really cool though. Like this looks better than our marble pours from our last video. Yeah, and this is just layer one, attempt one. Now here's an interesting thing. Do you see your paint underneath? I was gonna say, I don't see it at all. I don't see it Nothing. at all. Nothing, none at all. I think that what we need to do is the top layer, we need to make it even more opaque, less drops of pigment. Wait, wait, you mean even more translucent? Opposite. That's why I love you. You're so good with your words. Thank you. <laughs> the top layer, more see-through, less opaque. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my layer now. Yay! Tell me your vision, Caitlin. It's very similar to yours. <laughs> it's same, same, but different. I am also gonna do grays, whites, and blacks. What a surprise. I know, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I wanna have fully opaque white on the sides because I feel like for this under layer, what I'm realizing is maybe the contrast needs to be a little bit more different to show up through the next one. So I'm just gonna do fully opaque white on the sides. And in the middle, I'm gonna do a like dirty pour like you did with a mixture of white, black, and gray. And we'll mm. start there. I'm also gonna try using the black pigment, um, just cause Ooh. I feel like it's less overpowering. White, gray, black. Nice. Looks good. Always aim for the gray first, cause if you make it too dark, it can be your the black. black. Yeah. That's a nice gray. Much more subtle than mine. Maybe I'll use some of yours for the- um, Black? For the black, black. Oh my gosh. It's I just know. like, oh, already on Oh your my stick. gosh. Wow, so powerful. You know, for comparison's sake, I will do a similar angle of the uh, flow here. Uh, yeah. Also because I just think a diagonal looks best. And I'll start just doing my opaque white. Here we go, making a dirty cup. All mixed together. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should have mixed that more in my cup. Looks like a feather. You know, I'm not really too worried about this I layer. I still think it's cool. It's still pretty cool. But maybe I should have mixed it a little bit more. Here's another one. Ooh, interesting. Right on top. 
One thing that's, I think that's interesting, you know, for the final one, going over the same layer, again, adds a lot of detail that like could be interesting or could be weird. Oh, I think that this is pretty ugly, honestly. I would never do this for the top. You know, for me, I committed every pour being a single pour across. I'm yeah. not even critical of the design. I'm just uh, I'm not even trying, okay? I'm not trying to make this look like marble. I'm just experimenting. This ex is an experimental lady. But you know, also, every marble is unique. Every marble has different patterns. Sometimes it's all dark. Sometimes it's all white. Sometimes there's streaks. Sometimes it's in grids. So every piece of marble is unique and beautiful. You're trying to make me feel better because you don't like it. I'm not saying that I like it. I think it's really ugly. I'm just kind of trying to do stuff differently than I did last time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that yeah. I can learn what not to do. And also, I do want this to be kind of higher contrast because it is going to be just barely showing. Underneath. Barely visible. Yeah. I'm going in with surprisingly little plan. I'm surprising <laughs> myself how little of a plan like, I have. Like I, I did a Caitlin pour, and Caitlin's doing an Evan pour. Is it your birthday today? And <laughs> for a little bit more gray just to kind of like i don't know see so here's the interesting thing that solid gray doesn't look nearly as good as like the dirty poor gray it looks kind of boring oh, this whole thing is like real ugly i think my favorite element of all of this is this one vein right there me too wow i know i like that i don't know how i did it god dang it i just touched the little pile of gloves with resin hands i was trying to keep these clean oh, I don't shame know. Same. I'm sorry. Oh God, you can see all of them. I'm sorry, environment. I'm sorry. Is this double glove? No, I don't like double gloving. You know I don't. My fingers. You know it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just need it for the heat gun. It's fine. You have like alien hands. It's fine. Just because we didn't test this on yours, will this be good? Or will it be bad? I don't know. But for this underside, That's I feel fine. like I didn't really have too much to lose. Yeah. And I might as well try a new technique. Okay. That's interesting. I like it. I yeah. like it. I kind of like it. Now I have one last thing that I want to test. I reserved a little bit black Ooh. pigment here. Because I want to do some veins underneath that will maybe show up in the next layer. Maybe. This is really hard because if you pour it in, you end up with like a blob. Like so a I'm going to have to work fast. Yeah. Nope, didn't work. Didn't work at all. Nope. I just have a bunch of blobs. It looks like tadpoles. Maybe like a longer. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what if I don't try to do it as a stream? Oh, here we go. This is way more controlled. Since we're experimenting on yours, I know that, that this is yours, but can I can I test one of those? I mean, you can test one on your top layer too, because all of this is experiment. Yeah, <laughs> looks good. Excuse me. <laughs> How dare you? But no, you can. You want to try one? You can try one. Okay, he's going for the syringe. He's poking a stick in the syringe. He has a very intense look on his face. Wow. What expression. A long tube. Wow, that's a nice corn dog. Are you doing this on mine or yours? I'll do it on your black center bit. Because we can we know we can blend that. Yeah. Oh! Look at that. Oh. Glorious. Okay, that that's cool. <laughs> so you lift it out, you wait for the stream to start. Ah! Hey, still works, still works. It still it still did work, yeah. It's risky. It's, it's risky. risky. It's a high risk, high reward. Yeah. You really need to load it heavily. There you go. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> That's it. Wow. We but have tried. That? That's, that's doing something interesting on top. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Why, why? It's spreading so much. Why is it, why? I did the same thing in both what? places. What is happening? Look at that. Why? Okay, that's weird. Man, <clears throat> high risk. High risk. It's so ugly now. That's weird. Okay, well, hey, you know what? 
we'll let these cure and then we'll try our next layer. And that's yeah. like the one where we have to try a little bit harder <laughs> to make it look nice. It's a nice subtle piece of makeup over these interesting bases. Okay. Where's the, what's, which layer is the makeup? I've got a little lost in your analogy. I don't know, it's not a good analogy. Okay, we'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Caitlin is acting very suspicious. She said, do not look. And the expression in her face was like a vindication and joy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which made I me mean, think yes, that but... mine turned horrible and hers turned great. Is that the truth? Yeah, yours looks Really weird. It got really what? weird. What? 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 Yours looks beautiful. I mean, mine's okay, but yours did some funky stuff, and I don't know why because our basic ingredients were the same. Whoa! It's not like yours looks like you used alcohol ink, and yeah, we didn't. Something happened with mine. Something right? very strange. <gasps> why? I think I have an idea why. Why? What's the main difference? I, think about the ingredients. I used black pigment, you used black liquid. Yeah, I think that's it. How come this one didn't do it? Because, uh, okay, this proves it to me. This proves it. This first one right here, the first one that I did, records will show that this was, was this the long tube dip? Or was they this, were both tube dips. They were both tube dips. Oh, never mind. Here. This looks very resiny. This looks a lot more stonish. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to the um, black pearlax. Pearlax. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I know. Wow. I know. That looks bad. I know. Resin, y'all. This is this is one of the reasons why we like resin so much, and we do so many resin projects. It's just an adventure. We're gonna do another experiment on this level. We are gonna be trying two different glow powders. One that's neutral white. One that's aqua. We didn't do glow powder underneath because only the surface, up. only the surface counts for the glow powder. Let's not waste it. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Are you struggling with sad, boring food? Unfortunately, you can't make everything better with resin. You can't? No, silly. But to get you out of your recipe rut, you can try today's sponsor, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, and we can genuinely say that some of our favorite, most frequently made recipes are from HelloFresh. Plus, if you think pouring resin together is romantic, just wait until you try cooking a delicious and easy meal together. You can even get a three-course meal if you want to be extra fancy. Extra, extra fancy. fancy. But what if your goal this year is to be fit? Well, they have extra healthy options like fit and wholesome recipes so you can enjoy tasty meals without the worries. Or maybe your goal is to save time. <laughs> good thing they have 20 minute meal options. And no matter what, you can feel good that with HelloFresh, their pre-portioned ingredients mean less prep for you and less wasted food. Go to hellofresh.com and use code Evan and Caitlin 16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. All right, again, I'm gonna do something out of character again. I'm just gonna potentially do this all in one big dirty pour. But, oh, yeah. okay, well what do you have here? A little bit of glow. Okay. Here is the more opaque white. Here is the more translucent white. And then here is a little bit of gray. And then I'm just gonna keep on layering these. Ah, okay, yeah. That makes sense, because when I did the dirty pour down the middle, it was so unbalanced, because I yeah. didn't layer. One interesting thing will be the glow powder is a this? little bit yellower. Whoop. A little stir. Okay. The, right. glow, the glow powder is a little bit yellower, so I'll be curious if it shows up like this. Ooh, I am liking this. Now, is it darker than I originally thought for like this type of marble? Maybe. I want to combine both whites into one with the glow. Mm hmm. A little mini dirty pour. I like that. I like that. I'm glad you did that. All right. Maybe I might just leave it there. I don't know. Yeah. It's darker than I intended, yet it looks good. I am going to blowtorch it. I didn't worry about it too much on the, yeah. first, the first one. But we don't want bubbles. But you can see how many bubbles. I think this, cause, especially because I mixed it up and mixed it up and mixed it up. Yeah, yeah. Like a pour within a pour within a pour. And then I'm so excited to see what you come up with for yours. I really hope mine doesn't change. I mean, 
We'll see, hopefully it doesn't have the same fate as your first one. <laughs> so I'm gonna do something very similar to you. Glow powder, I'm not gonna add to the dirty pour. I actually wanna do veins of glow. Mm. To like concentrate it more. Yeah. I feel like be, that might show up more. So that's yeah. That's gonna be really interesting when we do like the glow test at the end of all of this. I know. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Me too. I'm sorry, I set the camera. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's gonna break the stabilization feature on our side camera. Don't. <laughs> okay, so you're just mixing all of the whites and the grays. And the gray. Okay. Does it matter doing it in streaks like this as opposed to? I think so. I think so too. Uh, if you look really close, you probably like, need a macro that, lens. There are like white streaks going in that direction. Oh, wow. Yours is looking so classy. Thank you. I really like the subtle look. It's really cool looking. Okay, so I'm a little nervous. I could try really loading it up like that. And oh, then doing do streaks. Yeah, I'm doing the veins oh, with the glow. Oh, I thought you were gonna just pour it with it. Okay, yeah, 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 do, do, do that. Yeah, interesting. Oh, oh. there's one. You can't really see it much now. Neat, yeah, that was a great one. That was an awesome vein. Am I going too much with the veins? I don't know, I'm having fun now. Kinda messed that one up, but we'll see. Okay, that, that might looks, be it. That looks rocky, and for some reason, it looks kind of like flaky, but in the rock-like look, I think it looks right. It could be that I added so much glow powder to my uh, mix that it's like, little specks of glow powder. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh wow, yours looks beautiful. Thank you. I don't know. I'm preemptively calling this, but I have been very pleased with this whole process. In some ways, it's been fairly forgiving. I know, it has been. I hope that these stay looking pretty and don't completely mess up the next time we see you guys. Me <laughs> too, because we know what can happen. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. See you in a little bit. You guys won't believe what these look like overnight. The exact same. The exact same. They didn't change at all this time. There's also less to change. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, this looks like the best marble we've Minus. ever made. Mine is stuck. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that! That totally looks like marble. Like, oh my god! It really does. So, yeah. like, we've already learned some great lessons for the big pour, but I'm honestly pretty excited to see what these look like in the dark. Yes. What works better, my glow veins or your glow dirty pour, or maybe they both work? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, no, this, this is a weird thing. Wait, it's not. Lean down towards it for your mic. Oh, my mic. What? I don't understand what's happening. Is the flashlight making a noise? Like, what are you no, listening I to? Heard, I heard the glow making noise. What? Can you not hear that? Oh. <laughs> it's the flashlight. It's the flashlight. Okay, wait, I was wait, like, wait. pause for a second. I was like, it's expanding. It's cracking. I thought something like crazy was happening. No, there's it's a this, rattle in the flashlight. And there's color differences. I use the teal, you use the white. The One thing white. I can say is the white definitely seems brighter. I kind of like yours. I kind of like mine too. I thought my veins would be really thin, but I think the pores I did spread out, so they're kind of fat, whereas yours is just more naturally integrated. Now, it does look like an alien, like, skin texture. It does. <laughs> The glow being functional is uh, a little questionable. <laughs> I think it's neat. I mean, it's kind of neat, kind of ugly. Kind I of neat. don't think that it impacts the look of it in any negative way when it's True. light out. So I, I think it kind of adds something nice. And I think with the matte finish that we're gonna do on the final piece, mm -hmm. I think it could look pretty cool. So I think I'm down to do the white. I'm down. If yeah. it looks a little alien -y, I mean, it's, glow and it's glowing. Like, what do we expect? Yeah. Let's get our side tables. <sighs> So we took the tape off of these test pieces, and one thing we realized is that it's sticky. It's really sticky. So we came up with a solution <laughs> to solve the sticky issue. So what we're doing is a combination of blue tape, plastic sheeting, and foil tape. So we're gonna blue tape the plastic sheeting on first, and this serves two purposes. One, it prevents the aluminum foil from leaving residue, and it also provides a drop protection for our dressers so that we don't spill resin 
all over the place. So hopefully- Well, drop protection on the outside, yeah. but also leak protection from the inside because yeah. what we know from these tester pieces also is resin does leak down the side. Yeah, just a little bit. It's a lot simpler when what you're building is raw wood. And you can just like, if there's any mistakes, you just kind of- Sand it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when you're working with like a laminate like this, you can't, you just can't sand things off. You don't know what's underneath there. Probably I mean, particle board. Yeah, it's probably particle board. <laughs> and we but don't like, like that. We're once again trying something for the very first time. Will it work? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Only one way to find out. How do you feel about sanding our nice, semi-nice dressers? On one, ah, no, this is the point of no return. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, as wrong as this feels emotionally, Physically, this feels right. Like grippier? Yeah, like, like like smooth and slick and then grippier so that the resin can get into those grooves and really adhere so that we're making this nice long lasting piece. So we're just gonna finish this and then we'll we'll do the resin. Do, do one, do one, it's cathartic. Oh, no, I was, okay. It's a little chalkboardy, you know? <laughs> it's worse pushing. <laughs> Pulling is better. <laughs> You're evil. So we've decided to simplify how many mixes we're pouring. Can can you can you say better words while I'm doing this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're simplifying it down to just doing a white, a gray, and a black for this first layer. I don't think we need to get any fancier than that because what we've realized is it's really forgiving. Like the second layer covers a lot of mistakes. Whee! So I've done about two of those now. All right, now, now for the gray, I'm gonna do a little bit of the white and then just a tiny bit of black. You can always add more darkening. So I'm gonna be not Chaos Evan. I am gonna be, what's the opposite of Chaos Evan? Um, Reserved Evan. Reserved Evan. Caitlin. <laughs> I'm gonna be Caitlin today. <laughs> love, what's your impression of me? Um, hi love. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> wow, simple. I think that like, something that's like very you is being bothered by like, things out of place or something. But like, it's hard to do an impression by it because it's more of a vibe than like anything you say or do. <laughs> it's more like, hey love, these um, these screws on the counter, do you know what these are for? <laughs> 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 it's like my subtle way of saying like, why are there these random screws on the counter? <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason. All right, I'm gonna start with a little bit of white for the base, a little bit of white, a little bit of gray, just a tiny amount of this dark black. Mm -hmm and then Layer some it. more white, and then we'll see what that looks like. I think I'm just gonna, ooh, I like that. I like that. I love the detail in there, wow, yeah. I might just do a few of these. I don't like that shape. It looks like a wishbone. It's up to you, baby. Okay, I'm liking it, but I do want some more dark. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on adding dirty pores, because I like how this is coming out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. That looks nice. That looks nice. I think I'm just gonna like stay safe with these diagonals, you yeah. know? I think I'm even gonna do just like a... A little partial? Yeah, right there. And I'm just gonna do some thin pores just around, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this probably will be just enough. Oops, I dripped. No! Ah! <laughs> It'll just become part of the floor and make the floor stronger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is looking heckin' nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. I'm liking it. But I think overall, it looks really good. Yeah, I'm like, wow, I can be like a lot more transparent on the top layer yeah. than I thought. Because I'm actually like digging this vibe a lot more than I thought, honestly. Who knows if it's gonna like mess up later. What do you think, call it? Yeah, I think you're good. That's awesome. My I'm so turn. excited. So I'm gonna do basically the same thing as Evan. Cause these are a set. Yeah, I mean the, the main thing that's gonna be interesting is like what artistic flares are you gonna add? What angle are you gonna do things at? I don't know. 
You're wild, Kaylin. Wild and crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I mean, sometimes. Okay. I okay. think you're cool. I didn't say I'm not cool. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I guess I kind of feel like I should do like opposite, like mirrored angles slightly. Oh, that could be fun. Doing a dirty pork up? Doing a, do 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 a dirty pork up, you know. It's a little white, a little gray, a little black. Yeah, again, you know. <laughs> I mean, this is like, I think it works pretty well. Yay. I love it. It's great. Ooh, oh, I love it. Dang. I love it, it's great. I think it's great. Ooh. I'm going out, I did a little outward vein. Who is she? Who is she? DJ Caitlin mixing resin in the club. Zoom, 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 zoom. I'm Can a we live talk to them mixer. about your uh, DJ name? DJ Softpaws. <laughs> and I'm also a, a cat in this yeah. scenario. I <laughs> just like keep on thinking about you as a DJ now. <laughs> spitting, spitting live beats. No, I'm, I'm not spitting beats because I'm not rapping. I need a rapper name too. Maybe people can submit. Caitlin's rapper for me. name. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple more like little touches. Yeah. But I think like all in all, I'm pretty happy with uh with how it turned out. Am I done? Am I done? Wow. Am I be pretty good? Okay. Honestly, wow. this is one of the more simple resin projects we've done. <laughs> Even though it's like so complex, it's also kind of simple in a way. I think that's why I'm like questioning, am I done? <laughs> I'm used to having to do so much more, but no, I think, I think I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna leave it. It's looking good. I'm excited for layer two. Me too. So the tables still look great. We thought about painting more veins on here, but honestly, I'm 100% happy with how much I have. And I actually don't think I want to add any more. I already got some fine lines. So I think it's ready for the, the white and clear layer. I think so. Okay. <clears throat> Putting it on this side? Sure. <clears throat> Sorry, you get banished. I can still be in it. <laughs> okay, what you got here? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do another big dirty board. Are you trying to be in the frame? <laughs> yeah. I'm part of this team. <laughs> You're part of the team. All right, I'm gonna do a big dirty pour. We have more opaque white, more transparent white, the glow powder, which is looking very yellow. Yep. And we even have a little bit of gray that we're gonna add in there. And, um, you know, just gonna wing it like we always do. Yep. And do not get too stressed. Like we never do. Like we never do. One some of that glow. All right, I'm just gonna stop here for now. Okay. Ooh, I'm so glad I added that gray in. That was nice. Looks I mean, like someone peed in the resin also. <laughs> the yellow? Yellow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It'll spread out. I wonder what design your glow powder is going to make. I don't know. But it's already looking nice. You can still see the layer underneath it. Yeah. <clears throat> the but it is I... nice and subtle. But I do see the streaks of the different whites on top. Uh, I might just judge it a little bit with the uh, heat gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we'll pop bubbles and then I get to go. Wow, that looks nice. It does look nice. It looks really nice. It looks more subtle but rich and deep. Yes. Vegan. Vegan bubbles. Okay. Nah. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> okay. There's the yellow. There's the yellow. The price you pay to make your nightstands glow. I think it's gonna be cool. I hope so. Or it could look like an alien something. You know, at this point, I feel like there's not too much like creative control I have. I am I'm at the whim of the resin. Of the resin. Yeah. Kind of how it is when you do a dirty pour. Will we ruin our nice side tables? No! They're gonna look so nice. We'll find out at the end. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Very exciting. Yeah, we'll just do the same thing on mine. We'll give it a little <laughs> pop the bubbles. Yeah, and then I think like when, when we when we see you guys again, it's gonna be final montage time. Final montage time. Well we have one last very, very exciting step. Oh yeah! Oh, I'm excited. Do you have resin? Okay. <laughs> You ready to uh, unwrap these? Yes. I'm gonna do it in, in, a, in a dramatic reveal. Are you okay. ready? Yes. Wow! <laughs> reveal one of many. Is Actually, what I'm most curious about are two things. One, how uh, unsmooth is this edge? It's pretty unsmooth. Oh yeah, it but goes But two, up 
what are these sides gonna look like? Yeah, like that's, how much that's work are we gonna have to do? That's what I'm most excited and nervous about. <laughs> hey! Actually, that's much cleaner than I feared. That's, that's a lot cleaner than our test pieces. That's really great. It's because we did the double tape. The double tape. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's not sticky. Oh. Okay, so maybe maybe we don't even have to paint the sides. Oh. That'd be great. I don't think we need to because that was my biggest worry. Yeah. Places. On the front, there are still a few little like nicks and stuff like that. That's true. But painting a few little like touch ups on the nicks of the paint. We can do that. That's much more simple than trying to like, I don't even know what we were going to have to do <laughs> if it like leaked and was all yeah. Whew. lumpy. Okay, I think this is one of our best resin top methods ever. One of our cleanest edges yet. Yes. Everyone. Thank you for being with us on this journey. Thank you. <laughs> Let's clean up these edges with a router for okay. real quick. And then we're gonna do the fun part that I'm so excited about. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we'll clean it up first though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we just like rip it and like you, you can rip yours and I'll rip mine and like. Okay. Well, actually, can't we just leave this for, why am I removing this? Oh yeah. Can I just leave it for the um, um, round over and the sanding? <laughs> Oh! Time for the new part. We are gonna sand the resin, which we, we've done before out of necessity to like sand down a, a rough edge or something, but we wanna make the whole thing matte. And we have a whole bunch of like super extra quality sanding things ranging from 800 to 2,500 grit. Ultra, ultra fine. So we're gonna do some experimentations and see which one looks the best. Oh, are we? I thought we were just gonna go for it. That makes sense. <laughs> I mean, we could just, we could, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this mat. Look at this. Super glossy, so matte. It's so, it's so much more like stone. I know. One more sanding, and then it's time for the final reveal. Ah! They're done! This might be one of the classiest, nicest things we've ever made. I agree. And I was a little worried that it might look cheesy or like too fake, you know, because we don't always go for classy. Sometimes we go for cheesy and we're good at that. Yeah. But like classy is more difficult and these just look so freaking good. Well, I think that uh, there's another thing about this that really shows like a strength of DIY projects. I made my ideal perfect marble. And anyone who does a project look like this, if you want it darker or more streaky or whatever you want, you want to add some like little sparkly flakes in there. Whatever, you, you can do that. Plus, they glow! Yeah, let's let's check that out. I'll let you do it, I'm comfortable. Yeah, Every, all of these lights are fake. It's, it's, it's the middle of the night. Yeah, <laughs> the window is fake. Okay. Every, everything is fake. <laughs> <laughs> we are real. We're real. Are, 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 are you real? <laughs> now. Whoa! It totally glows. Oh, yeah. It totally glows. Oh, yeah. It totally glows. Oh my gosh. That, like, I, I, if like I, significantly. I put, I put my phone on there, I can clearly see the outline of my phone. Yeah. I can easily reach over and pick up my phone or whatever else is on here. Mainly the phone. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's bring back um, the lies. <laughs> are any of our windows real? You'll never know. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, baby. I what am. a journey this has been on. I'm very proud of us. We did a good job. We did a good job. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thank goodness though. Oh, I almost sneezed. Oh no.